Hello everyone, so we are back again with another video. So friends, we are going to discuss about today how to create a login form using Gmail. So here we have the example I am going to show you. Click on login button and we have here login in with Gmail. Just click on this. Once you clicked on, here are asking which email ID you want to access. So I just click on this one. Look, now we are inside of the dashboard and look, we have one logout. So you can make lo login functionality in Laravel SIM. So here we have already discussing about how this is working. So I'm expecting you know how to install Laravel 7 in your system. If you don't know, you can check out from my blog also. I will give you link also. Don't worry about it. So here there is some step how we can install the Laravel. Okay. We can configure the database. So basically we are using SourceLite package in Laravel 7. And first of all, you need to create a Laravel. Once you install the Laravel in your system, then you need to configure your database. Also, you need to install the UI package. Once you created the UI package, you need to create an account Google for the Google Authenticator. Okay. And also, once you get the your code, you need to put inside of the Google Configuration Service. Okay. Inside the services.php. I will show you everything about it. Don't worry about it. Add one column in your user table because we need to add also Google underscore ID means Google ID. Okay, I have added as Google underscore ID is a separated column. Okay, also you need to update your model. Inside of the your model, you need to put Google underscore ID, which is our column. Also, you need to access from the routes how you calling your controller from the routes. This is also important things we will discuss about. Okay, also don't forget to create a controller. Okay, we will call from the routes.php. Also, we need to update in view because by default in UI package we get the login registration dashboard uh, page, but we need to also add login button for the Google. We will add anchor tab. I am going to show you now everything about this state. How this is working? First of all, you need to create account. So, how you can create account? Here I have written blog might be this is really helpful full for you okay this is the way to create a login if you have an installed Laravel then you need to write this command if you don't have a Laravel I will give you the command how to install Laravel also okay don't forget to subscribe this channel first of all look I'm going to put this particular composer command so you can install the Laravel 7 in your system once you successfully install the Laravel you need to go inside of the your project once you get the inside of the your project you need to install Laravel source light package okay so once you install the source light package then you need to add provide inside of uh, configuration here I have written con something this is mistake from my side so here the config dot app dot php I'm gonna show you here I'm going to remove this one let me show you we have friends we need to add inside of the app.php once you open that this you need to add inside of the provider here we have the provider and also we need to add in alias so I have added these lines of code also you need to add okay once you add it, then you need to add, in, add also in alias. So don't forget to add this one. So slide package I have added. So once we have done this, what we need to do? One, uh, then we need to add inside of the services.php Google services like this one. Also, we need to put the client ID. This is my client ID. Don't try to use this one. I will remove after this video. And also you need to put the secret ID and redirect URL where you want to redirect. So this is the way to add and how you get this code you need to add uh, create from the authenticator like this one I have given you here the authentication package you need to add from here. So also this will help you how to create an account look I have added the pictures also 
you need to first of all once you get the create applications you need to use api services and once you add it here you need to select the auth client id which is 2 id okay and once you add it then you need to put the web applications link here once you add it and successfully you will get the secret id and client id okay like this so now once you get you need to add the composer package you need to install composer require laravel ui so this is a version of the ui 2.4 something so i have added here now we need to create auth and auth something so how you can do that you need to run this command so we will get bootstrap authentication package like risk inside of the resource login registration forget something you don't want forget to write this command so once you successfully install then you need to also use the npm package also you can run npm install npm run dev so once that this successfully is done what you need to do uh, you need to run this command to adding a google uh, underscore id column let me show you we have successfully added this one i'm going to show you we have the database and inside of the v database we have the add google underscore id so we have added this one and now we need to add in user table so I have added here as a column google underscore id okay i am going to show you how this is working here we have the database look and we have the user table inside of the user table we have the column which is google underscore id okay so again we have the google underscore id now look at here we have the migration i have added i already explain you how this is working don't forget to add these lines of uh, un google underscore id inside of the user model let me show you we have the user dot php which is model and inside of the model i have added google underscore id don't forget to add this one so once successfully done this step now we need to add inside of the route dot php which is web dot php let me show you inside of the routes we have web dot php so now by default we calling this controller and function so let me show you my controller and function how this is working hope so you understand how to create a login something so we have the const construct uh, basic constructor here basically we are using auth middleware and we have the index method let me show you we calling index method so once you successfully get the login page let me show you we have the home page now now i am the inside of uh google authenticate so if anyone hitting this one we calling this controller and redirect to google let me show you we have the google authenticator something inside of the auth now we have the google controller let me show you redirect to google so here we are checking the source slide package we have and driver is google okay i have already added inside of the service you have already seen that now once we had it the and uh, handle google callback functions we have written here so we checking try and actually using try and exception so now if user have logged in something so we are getting the user id and we redirect to home okay because in home controller we have already applied in constructor auth if user have successfully logged in then we redirecting home otherwise user cannot access directly home okay now we have else method here inside the else method we are using create functions because if user don't have account then we will create and we will get the name email and by default we putting this particular password one two three four five something some dummy data so you can put whatever you want once user successfully logged in then we redirecting again home and if anything happen then we are redirecting to cache method and this will get message alert something so this is way to create a login system in laravel so we have discussed everything about this one how this is working and you need to put this one line here we have error login with controller something you can put like this okay once successfully logged in you need to put in your login and hope so this will work fine look we have okay so if you have any doubt related to this video please put your comment below and uh, 
Also, don't forget to subscribe my channel. I have uploaded Laravel 7, Laravel 8. Okay, real programmers. You can search from the YouTube search and you can get my YouTube channel link here. And I have uploaded every type of videos and uh, in Django, Python, Laravel, everything. So I will, uh, will trying to create something. You can check from here. And also, please don't forget to subscribe this channel. Thank you for watching this video.